Hi, welcome back to Math Smash. I'm really glad you joined us. All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at short division. And you can see I've got my practice question 745 divided by 5. So I start by drawing a house. And inside the house is going to be 745, which is my dividend. My divisor 5 goes on the outside. I always write my multiples and my divisor down the side, so I'm writing the 5 times table or the multiples of 5 down the side here. And the first thing I do is say, right, how many sets of 5 go into 7? That's 1. And I write my 5 right below my 7. And I subtract 5 from 7, that leaves me 2. And I bring down my 4, that gives me 24. I now look at my multiples of 5 and I find the closest number. Well, 25 is the closest number, but it's too big, so I can't use it. So I'm going to use uh, 20, and uh, I subtract 20 from 24, and what did I multiply 5 by to get 20? I used 4. 4 times 5 is 20, so I'm subtracting 20 from 24. That's going to leave me with 4. I bring down my 5. That gives me 45. And again, I look down my list of multiples and I see that 45 is at the bottom. So I write 45 because that's what I'm going to subtract. What did I do to 5 to get 45? I multiplied it by 9. Alright, make sure all your digits are in nice straight lines like I've done here. And I subtract 45 from 45, that gives me 0. Always make sure you check your work. Now I'm going to have a look at uh, the same uh, division question but using short division. Give yourself a little bit extra room. I write my 745, my dividend in the house, and my divisor on the outside. All right, how many sets of 5 go into 7? That's 1. So 7 subtract 5, it leaves me with 2. That gives me 24. And now you can see that the closest I can come is 20. And I did that by multiplying 4 times 5. And there's 4 left over. Now I have 45, I got that by multiplying by 9, and so 45 subtract 45 is 0, so my answer is 149 with no remainders. Alright, let's have a look at the next one. 455 divided by 3. I draw my house, alright, this time I'm putting my, uh, di my divisor on the outside, my dividend is in the house. And how many sets of 3 and 4? That's 1 with 1 left over. That makes 15. 15. How many sets of 3 and 15? That's going to be 5 with no leftovers. And so I just say how many sets of 5? How many sets of 3 and 5? That's 1. And there's going to be 2 left over. So that means I have a remainder of 2 over 3. All right, my divisor is on the bottom and my remainder is on the top, so it's two-thirds. So 151 and two-thirds is my answer. And now I go to 362 divided by 4. Again, I draw my house, leave lots of room between the digits. My divisor is 4. How many sets of 4 and 3? None. How many sets of 4 and 36? That's 9 with no leftovers. And now I say how many in, f in 2? That's none. So I have an answer of 90, remainder 2 quarters or 1 half. Again, so my answer is 90 and remainder 1 half. Now have a look at these three questions here. These are your practice questions. You can pause the video here and uh, have a try on your own. Let's have another look at them. You can write them down if you want. And pause the video and start working them out. How'd you do? All right, I bet you did great. Okay, here we go. So 958 divided by four. All right, my dividend goes inside. My divisor is on the outside. How many sets of four and nine? That's two with one left over. How many sets of four and 15? That's three. Okay, with three left over. And how many sets of four and 38? That's nine with two left over, so my answer is going to be 239 remainder two quarters. Next one, 752 divided by six. How many sets of six and seven? That's one with one left over. Gives me 15. And how many sets of six and 15? That's two with three left over. 
how many in 32? That's 5, and 2 6 as a remainder, but we simplify that to 1 third. Okay, next one is 547 divided by 7. All right, how many sets of 7 in 5? 0. In 54, 7, that's 49, that gives me 5 left over. How many in 57? Uh, that would give me 8. So 7 8 to 56, so that's 1 seventh as a remainder. So our answer, oops, I just, I have to write my answers in here. 239 and 2 quarters, which is 239 and a half. 752 divided by 6 is going to be 125, remainder of 1 third. And 547 divided by 7 is 78 and 1 seventh. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and please subscribe. Have a great day.